whose mom is Albanian and whose dad is Turkish, who lives in a village in Kosovo. She's currently the only girl in her class, as there are very few other Turkish people there due to political and demographic changes. And she has only one friend in the neighborhood who is Albanian. It's very sweet to see the childhood fun she makes for herself, like drawing and playing with her single friend outside. There's also a younger boy in the film who does not enjoy nor understand why he's alone in his class. It is touching that she doesn't seem to be particularly lonely. I love the shots of the area and her experiences with nature and how she seems to have a rather old soul, hoping for the best for the world and its various cultures. I also like the soundtrack, mostly with piano, strings, and trumpet. Great film. Very special. You know, we get to get a peek into the life of this little girl living in a village and being the only student in her class. I just can't even imagine. And... I think what stands out so much of the film is this girl herself. She is so charismatic and has this personality that is just so engaging. And she's so smart and mature and has this beautiful, optimistic view of the world. And I just, you know, her parents just did so right by her. And I feel like her existence could could be so lonely, um, not having any other really a lot of friends. I mean, she has one friend, um, just herself in, in the household with her parents, and then um, having those other students to interact with. I feel like it's, you know, she could become very isolated, very upset, very confused, similar to the little boy that we see um, in his class being the only one. But she just has this beautiful outlook on life. And I think that similar to growing up as like an only child, I feel like you're kind of forced to have this um, independence and maturity around you because you're, you're pretty much always surrounded by adults. Um, yeah. So I thought it was really like, it was really lucky for us to be able to see a day in the life in somewhere that looks um, for us in like North America, it just looks so, so different. Um, so I loved getting to just peek into her life and I, I wish her all the best. She is just so, so, so sweet and lovely. Yeah. I really love this movie. I thought it was really interesting and yeah, it's just, you know, a, a story I'm not used to seeing. And so I love learning about different people and, and seeing new stories rather than the same thing. And so I, I love that this filmmaker highlighted, you know, the story and told her story. Um, and yeah, I love the opening shot. Like the drone shot was super cool, super impressive zooming in on the, on the house with, you know, her voiceover and having her tell the story, I, I thought was really a cool way of doing it. Um, and yeah, it was just super well done. So great job. What a wonderful movie. I really enjoyed this. Um, you know, it, it's very nice because like, you know, as an American, I don't I don't see this culture depicted um, often with the, the Turkish and Albanian folks in their villages um, together. Um, it, it was a uh, very eye opening. It, it's so interesting. This this little girl going to school by herself and the, and the, and the, and the little guy, too. You know, um, it's it's. It, it, yeah, I can't, I can't imagine, it, you know, it, it's, it's wonderful that she's sticking with it and her family has her sticking with it, you know, but this, the fact that she's going by herself, what an interesting, both of the children here that are depicted, they're such interesting, intelligent, wonderful, vibrant humans, you know, um, you know, the, 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 the charismatic quality of this, this young girl, you know, and she's just so intelligent and, uh, so self-aware, um, I, I, I know many people in their 40s that are not this intelligent and self-aware as this little girl is, so um, good for her. But everybody on screen in this is extremely interested and communicated very well, you know, and the, 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 these two children, these children were just, just amazing, um, absolutely wonderful, and I wish the best for them and their continued education. I hope things continue to go well for them. Um, it was extremely interesting to learn about them. This piece was put together so well, di directed, edited, um, so well the shot, the cinematography is beautiful. That last, that last shot in, in the, in the, the, the field of wavy grass and the tree was just beautiful shot. Bravo. Well done. Um, my favorite takeaway from this is when the little boy says, um, you know, I asked my uh, father why I'm the only person at school. And he says, you'll understand when you grow up. 
and he says, I'm waiting to grow up. So I'm waiting to grow up. Yeah, I'm with you, kid. <laughs> All right. Good job, everybody. This is wonderful. Had a absolutely stunning opening shot inside of the school, how they panned in front of the windows with the light coming in, and especially the, um, the drone shot too, just to be able to see all of this gorgeous countryside with this village in the center, it was beautiful. The, the story was great. I really loved the fact that it was a, um, a voiceover mostly by a nine-year-old girl and from her perspective and what this school meant to her and her village. It was so interesting that there were a couple of classes where there was only one student. Um, I thought that that was really, really cool. The, um, the little boy that we got to interview actually made me laugh out loud when he started to talking about his teacher, that she was a very nice woman, but she yells a lot because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, why is this woman yelling? So I thought that that was adorable and it made me laugh out loud. It really touched my heart. This whole thing was great. It was really well done. It was beautiful. I thought this was really interesting. I really loved that she was the one that was kind of narrating it and guiding it. Um, the entire time. I thought that was really beautiful because it was about school, so it should be told by a kid and because they're the ones that go. And so I thought that was really fantastic. Um, I also thought that her outlook about school and how she said at one point when she got there, like, oh, I have to, you know, go to my school. It, it's my duty. And I have to represent, I think she said, the values of my village. And I just thought that that was such an interesting and really wonderful outlook to have. Um, I don't know when I was a kid or kids now that have that kind of uh, outlook on it. Um, and so I thought it was just beautiful how... Even though it was hard, she was the only kid in her class, in her age range, that she still went and she still tried and she wasn't the only one, even though they struggled, like they still try every day. And just like I said, her, her kind of philosophy and her outlook on school and how she interacts with it, I thought was really, really beautiful.